Okay. So, I've had some people asking about my Ridley lately. Um, so I'm just gonna go over the uh, different options there. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, when you're farming here after your Crystal Flash, the main thing that you want to look for is, um, depending on which strat you're using, you want to make sure that you have enough missiles. So ideally that would be a, an absolute minimum of 30, but a comfortable minimum of 35. Um, at least <clears throat> three power bombs, but the more you have the better. And uh, you absolutely need to be full on supers. So once you've met those criteria, uh, you can go ahead and jump over here. Um, generally, you're going to be entering the door with around 600 health. You can do it with as little as 580. Um, I think the most I've ever had in a reasonable span was 620. So. Um, yeah, so enter the door, hold shoot as you're going through the door so that um, Samus immediately starts charging the X-Factor, and make sure that you have power bombs equipped, obviously. Um, the way that you want to set up this X-Factor, you want Samus to be standing on this uh, third block from the left. <coughs> And then, once the particles cross over the second time, that's when you'll want to have Samus uh, run over like this. Okay. Um, so I'm going to make a save state right here now. With the right music. Okay. So... The opening is going to change depending on um, which loadout that you're using. I'm going to start off with the, uh, the extra missile strat uh, because it is definitely easier. Um, yeah, so we'll kick off with that first. It's been a while since I practiced it, so hopefully I can get it. But <clears throat> basically, so the particles cross over, you want to start off with five missiles. Okay, and then immediately switch to start charging your X Factor. Okay, um, as long as Samus stays on this platform down here, Ridley is always going to come down and do a pogo. So you definitely want to stay on this platform because if you follow him up, then he won't necessarily do that. He might like, go into a swooping phase or you know, a number of other things, but the main thing is that he won't drop down for that X-Factor. Um, and you definitely want that X-Factor, okay? So, start off with five missiles, switch, and start charging your X-Factor immediately. Um, I have some sound cues that I use, so I'll try and explain those. Um... You want to start your X Factor charge on the the second measure of the music. I think that's that's the terminology. Um, I enjoy music very much, and I, you know, have, have learned how to read it and understand it in the past. But um, it's mostly just been self-taught over the past like ten or fifteen years. So I think I have some stuff wrong. Um, but anyway, so the, the song starts off do 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 do. Um, on the second round of those, that's when you want to start charging your X Factor. So do 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 charge do do do. Okay. So charge. Um, then I do a turnaround. Okay. And uh. Depending on when you do your turnaround, that will change Ridley's position. I think it has to do with his AI changing 
um, based on the, uh, the X Factor timer because okay, I'm not a programmer, and um, obviously there's you know people like Snick and Edie and, and whoever that have um, a lot more insight to this sort of thing, but um, basically everything that's going on in in the back end of the game is going to contribute to which bits are active you know with the ones and zeros um, and Ridley's RNG is going to change depending on that so the x-factor timer is going to change its current value based on when you turn around because it doesn't actually count down during turnaround animations so that's why it would affect the way that, that Ridley behaves like when he decides to, to swoop down um, so what you need to do is find whatever is most comfortable for you. Um, I generally do a turnaround immediately with this strat. And it puts you in this kind of a situation. Um, but again, like everybody is going to, to have a different experience. So you need to find whatever is most comfortable for you. Um, I use sound cues to determine roughly when I jump and when I when I stop my my vertical ascent as well and then you want to aim down to to shrink your hitbox um, to lessen the chance that you're going to take body damage from Ridley because if you do that it's, it's going to put you in a bad situation so okay. now you need to pay attention to how many X-Factor particles hit. Um, and by that I mean not just if one misses, but if one hits his tail or whatever. Um, each particle does 300 damage, and so that's going to affect the the strategy that you have in your fight. You know, how many missiles you need to hit them with, etc, etc. So make sure that you're paying attention. All four should hit every single time right here, as long as you don't run over early. So if you run over early, then that will change the position. So that's why you want to wait until they cross over the second time before you move, so that all four of them will hit. Same right there, I missed two of them, so honestly, that fight would be way, way harder to survive, and that's just going to happen sometimes. Um, you need to get a feel for how to make sure that none of them miss. If one misses, there's a pretty good backup for that, but if two of them miss, you can end up in a bad situation, so... Right, so my shot was late there. That was pretty good. Okay, so all four hit. So notice that after that, I start loading him up with supers. You want to get at least two in here, but if you can get three or four, that's really good. Um, the main thing is that when uh, when he's pushed you over to the right side like this, you want to roll under so you can do the pogo manipulation there. Um, I can give like a, a very small explanation on that, but if you want more information on how to manipulate Ridley, there are some really good videos out there by um, some other people in the community. I forget exactly who made them, but there's like a like an any percent tutorial, I think, and like a, an endurance tutorial. The main thing is that you, you just need to understand how to manipulate Rhythm's AI. So um, the way that pogo manipulation works is. If you're behind him and you're spinning, and then you break spin, so you can do that by shooting or by um, using an angle button or by pushing up, or you know, there's there's a lot of different ways to break spin. If you break spin when you're roughly around Ridley's midpoint, generally that will start a new pogo phase for him. Um, so. Hit him with the X Factor, roll under him, manipulate to start a new pogo phase. Okay. Um, at this point, I take note of how many supers I have left. Ideally, you want to be down to around 14, I think, with this strat. 
So, you know, maybe shoot him with a couple extras if you need to. And then at that point, that's when you want to start loading them up with your missiles. Um, the reason that we do missiles first... Was it really? Is because once Ridley enrages, it gets a lot harder to manipulate him without doing the damage. So generally, I'll go down to like 10. Okay. Oops, so my manipulation screwed up there. So now I'm in a pretty bad situation. Okay, notice he has 600 health left. Um, the, uh, the 600 health is why I grab Spazer. Um, Zos World Record Strat, he doesn't grab Spazer, and what he does is he relies on a third X factor, um, to hit Ridley with. So, um, I'll, I'll go over that too, but, um, for this particular strat, you want to find a time that is comfortable for you to pause and enable Spazer after this second X Factor. So like that. Okay. Um, so you want to enable Ice and Spazer. The reason I changed this to manual is because... Um, well, the reason I changed it is because of muscle memory, but... You can actually boost your health here. You can use up to 60 energy from this, okay? Um, and still not health bomb. Um, I'll get into that more later, but it's definitely worth doing this because um, when reserves activate in a heat damage scenario, you actually get less out of them because you continue taking damage as they're refilling. So, um, generally, I, uh, I'll toggle these to manual, I'll use a chunk, you know, I usually try to stop around 150 just to make sure that I'm being safe, because if you use too much, then you're going to help bump, you don't want that. So, um, activate your reserve tanks, turn on ice and spazer, um, and then unpause and continue the fight. So, Generally, I count down to either 15 or 10 missiles left here, and then do another manipulation. Then you want to hit him with two charge shots, and finish with supers. Um, you want to be careful with his pogos, because if he's sitting too high, then... Um, You can miss super super missile shots on it. So um, I kind of I kind of went into my other strat there just um, because of habit. But you want to get down to the point where you've used thirty missiles, um, or alternatively, you can stop when you have ten missiles left, and then you don't need to worry about what kind of drops you get from Ridley. Um, but if you do that, then you will need to accommodate for those with additional charge shots. So, um, there are a lot of different ways to make sure that you get all the damage in, but you need to make sure that you're paying attention to how much damage that you're doing so that you know when, uh, when to purposely get grabbed to end the fight. So, five missiles, X Factor, turn around, jump, particles, supers manipulate, pause, use reserves, activate your beams, decide whether you're going to use your beams now or later, two beams, uh, okay, so I didn't get that manipulation in there, um, with this strat you definitely want to try and do that, that's good. Use reserves, activate your beams. I would probably toggle missiles here and load them up with 15 to 20 of them. Okay, 
so we'll say 15 is safe. All right. Um, make sure that you have a handle on how to deal with Ridley and his swooping AI. Because that will make this much, much easier. Okay, I missed a super there. Um, if you miss a super, you need to accommodate for that with two extra charge shots or six extra missiles. Okay, I missed an X factor there. It's not the end of the world. Um, definitely makes the fight harder, but there are ways to manipulate it into hitting him again, as you saw right there. Okay, so we're going to do 15, and then manipulate, and then, okay, so I've got 30 missiles in him now. Generally you can get 10 supers off safely in a pogo like that. Okay, and then once he's dead, you just want to position yourself on the floor during a swoop pattern um, so that he'll grab you. If he's coming from the left side, that's pretty safe. If he's coming from the right side, that's kind of dangerous. His tail likes to like um, undercut and hit you on the way. So anyway, notice I didn't health bomb here. Um, depending on how good the fight is, you can use more or less uh, more reserves, but again, um, as long as you don't use more than um, roughly 60 energy manually from reserves and you get grabbed before they automatically activate, um, then you shouldn't get help out there. So the strategy here is you want to hit him with 30 missiles, um, two X factors, every single particle, so eight X factor particles. Uh, 20 super missiles, and two charged spacer wave ice shots. Um, that will do exactly 18,000 damage. So if you miss a super missile or an X-Factor particle or a couple of regular missiles or whatever, you're going to need to accommodate for those with, with different ways. Um, if you have the missiles to spare, you can do that, but I would advise against that since you need at least 10 missiles on your way out to X-Factor or to Crystal Flash. Um, yeah, so I, I would generally probably accommodate for any loss of um, missile DPS or anything else like that with, with charged shots. Um, each Spacer Wave Ice shot does 300 damage, so if you miss three missiles, that's one, one charge shot. If you miss one super missile, that's two charge shots. Um, etc. etc. Okay, so that's that's the missile strat. Um, the uh, the safe route if you're using this missile strat is to grab nine uh, missile packs because that will give you 45 missiles in pre Ridley, and then once you crystal flash, you'll have 35 missiles. Okay, so you'll have five extra missiles um, that will either go towards having enough crystal flash on your way out, or um, extra DPS if you happen to miss some during the course of the fight. So um, that is a missile strat. All right, um, let's move on to my current strat. Okay, just ignore the fact that I have um, 45 missiles. So. With, uh, with this other strat that I've been using, um, it's still two X-Factors, but I'm only grabbing three missile packs during the course of the run. So generally, I end up in here with five total missiles, okay? Um, <clears throat> you don't want to use all of those at the beginning of the fight, because then you'll end up with zero missiles after the fight, and so if you get health bombed or if you get bad RNG, then you have to get your missiles on your Ridley escape to have enough to crystal flash. There is nothing 
between here and Fireflies that has a, a good missile drop rate that is that is worth um, actually trying to farm for. The bugs have a two percent missile drop rate. Um, I don't know what the the blue flyer dudes have, but it's not very high. The ninja pirates, it's not very high. Like you're usually going to get super missiles or health or power bombs or you know all these other things that you you do need to crystal flash on your way out but you're not going to get regular missiles so <clears throat> it it doesn't seem like a lot um but even just having two missiles um left over at the end of this fight is worth it um having five missiles is super worth it um if you happen to get missiles during your pre ridley farm and you end up in here with with 10 missiles you know and you you burn a few of them and you have you know seven left over whatever that's that's a really good situation but basically you want to save as many missiles as you can during the course of this fight um so what that means is that you can either open this fight uh with this strategy with two super missiles or you can use three regular missiles um I opt for the three regulars because that makes it so that you only have to get 11 charge shots in instead of 12. Um, but find whatever's most comfortable for you and, uh, and run with that. Okay. So we're going to open the fight with three missiles. One, two, three. Um, the timing for that is a little bit different. If you use supers, it's one, two um, on, the, on the music cues. Dun 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 dun. So it'd be super super dun dun. Um, you want to start charging your your X factor on roughly the the same time frame as with the other strat. Um, that can be a little bit more more difficult. It's just something you kind of need to get a feel for. Um, so I open with three missiles. <laughs> And then um, the next part of the fight is the same. So you pause, you use reserves, you activate your beams. Okay. And then you want to start counting your beams here. So you need to get up to 11. There's no guarantee that he's going to keep pogoing like that because you're not manipulating him to do that. So again, um, you need to make sure that you're comfortable with handling him when he's swooping. Um, and that's something that there are a lot of different strategies for. The main thing is to make sure that you're not wasting any time between charge shots. Um, practicing any percent Ridley, a, a spacer fight any percent Ridley is going to help you enormously here. So if you're not practiced with that, definitely practice with that. Um, you know, do some fights where you kill him using nothing but spacer. Um, just just get used to it. Get used to how to hit him with spacer shots during pogo and during swoops, um, and and try to find a way that you don't waste any time between your charge shots because in RBO the time that you waste waiting you're losing health and that's not something that you can you can afford okay um with a good swoop pattern you're probably going to get grabbed with anywhere between 5 and 40 health left um try not to panic because that's going to get you killed so let's see if I can show some swoops here. <clears throat> I know that I missed a super. Oh, that's another thing. Um, so when you're edging toward the edge of the platform here, you want to hold angle. Because that way Samus will stop immediately. Um, if you're not holding angle, then 
she her momentum doesn't stop immediately and, and you'll fall in the acid and that's bad. So get in the habit of holding angle come on. When you're edging toward the platform. Um, you want to sit on the edge of the platform because <clears throat> Otherwise, Ridley will bounce back and forth during the pogo. Oops. <clears throat> yes, I notice I'm holding the goal here. Two, three, four, sweep. Five, <clears throat> six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Come on. <clears throat> um, if you take body damage, it is possible to survive the fight, depending on how much you entered the room with, but you will need to activate additional manual reserves. Five, six, seven. So notice how he's bouncing back and forth there. It was because I wasn't on the edge of the platform. <clears throat> if I can't get him to swoop soon, then I'll just I'll just cut the video. But, uh, there's one more thing that I want to try and show. Okay, here we go. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten, eleven. Okay, so I guess I can refill here if I need to. It's probably a good idea. So, um,. When he's pogoing like this, the way to get grabbed is you just want to jump up um, with him and then do a turnaround, okay? Let's so jump and turn around. It's honestly pretty free. If you do it on his way back down, um, that's when this sort of thing is going to happen. Okay, so you're going to take damage and then he's not actually going to, to die. He's going to carry you up to the top of the screen. Okay, do that. So try to follow him on his way up. Um, that's how you get grabbed from a pogo. Um, if you're on this side, you can still do it. It's a little harder just because of uh, the way that he... <laughs> really? That's crazy, man. Why are you being like this? Okay, well... Yeah, if he, uh, if he goes up into a swoop, you can jump up into his claw. Okay? Um, again, if he's over on the right side, that's, that's kind of a risky situation, and you just have to, like, try and accommodate for that. If you sit down here, he'll try and grab you. But again, like that's that's not a safe thing. Like, see, I got got hit by his tail. There. So another thing that you can do is like just try and manipulate him. Um, like jump up, look at how his tail is, try and avoid it. Um, and try and jump into his claw. And appropriate situation. You might not have the health to do that. You can always pause and activate more manual reserves if you need like an extra 20 or 30 health or whatever. Just keep in mind that there's a good chance you're going to get health bomb in that situation. Um, yeah, so let's see if I can... Okay, so yeah. In this situation, like, you can jump into his claw, um, but you need to try and, like, do it 
actually like I'm I'm really not comfortable doing this. My current PB, I, I did this, but it's it's more of like a clutch thing. The main thing is that you want to make sure that he's at the apex of his pogo and that he's not um, like moving moving down. Because if he's moving down, that's gonna be a problem. crap. Okay. So, yeah. He, uh, when he's dead, he's going to go into this thing where he just, you know, repeatedly tries to grab you over and over. Um. <clears throat> yeah, I wish I could show this, but I can't think of a way to show this. So, I guess... explain it. Quite often when you're doing swoop strats and you're, you know, shooting Ridley, your swoop strats, um, when you finish this last set of supers, he's going to be dead up in this corner, okay? Um, if you kill him on the way up into this corner, then you want to sit right about here, because what he'll do after that is he'll go for a grab, um, and he will always tend to do it in like a, like a, um, an angled motion where he ends up at the, the bottom right side of the platform, okay? If you don't kill him on the way up, um, you have two options. Once he's, once he's already, um, executed the next swoop phase, you cannot get grabbed by him and, and finish the fight. He has to be in um, the the right state in order for that to work, okay? So at the end of his swoop phase, if he was up here, then he's going to swoop down in a U-shape, and he's going to end up over here, okay? So that's when he's in, in danger zone. Um, <laughs> so again, like, you can... You can try and jump up into his claw, or you can hang out down here. Those are both kind of risky, so you're going to need to decide how much health you have and, and whether it's worth it or not. Um, ideally, what you want to happen is to have him swooping down this way when you finish him, and then you can just jump up into his claw right here, or just kind of hang out here and get grabbed. Um, him. I'm sorry, I, I know that I'm not able to visualize that, and I apologize. Um, another thing that you can do is play bombs. Oops. And he will explode for whatever reason. Um, the problem with that strat is that... Okay, well, he's acting kind of weird here. Um, <laughs> but it does work. Basically, um, the problem with this strat is that when Ridley grabs you, um, your health continues depleting during that grab, but your reserves won't activate until after he lets go of you. Anyway, if he hasn't grabbed you, notice that your health keeps counting down. So there's a chance that reserves will actually activate earlier, and you could still get health bombed, um, just depending on when they activate. So um, I got health bombed here because I used refill and so my ammo as well. But yeah, I think... I think that covers pretty much everything about the fight from my perspective. Um, the last thing that I will mention is that during a, a swooping phase, um, if he's... So what he'll do during a swooping phase is he'll swoop, okay? And then he'll like try to grab you. And then he'll decide what to do next. So he'll either swoop again, or he'll be like, oh, I want to pogo, and he'll start pogoing, okay? You can manipulate him into pogoing 
if he's um, after after he's tried to grab you and he's trying to decide what to do next, you can do the the spin break angle thing, and that will manipulate him into, into pogoing. Sometimes seems like you need to be like around the same level of like the bottom of his hitbox to do that, but. I honestly, I don't know the, the specifics behind that. It doesn't always work. It's just kind of a, if you want to try and make him pogo, that's that's what you would, you know, want to do. So you can like pull the charge shot, for example, jump up, break angle, hit him, and then he's like, oh, I want to pogo, and then you can get back into the, the pogo, pogo phase. So, oh, I said I was gonna show Zos 3x factor. Um. I'm not very good at that, honestly. The The main thing is that he, Ridley, um, does pogos, right? What Zos does is when Ridley's tail hits the platform on a pogo, he starts charging the X-Factor. And then when they get over to the left side of the platform, Ridley's pogoing up and down. What Zos does is he does a crouch, a, a crouched hitbox jump. Um, to try and time it so that the X-Factor particles come in and, and hit Ridley on the way down. Um, I think in his world record video, two of the particles hit, one of them hits the tail, and one of them misses, and then what Zos does is he, he rolls under the tail and manipulates the X-Factor to, to go and hit Ridley. Um, you can get all four in, you can get you know three in and have one hit the tail, or you can get the two in and then try and manipulate the, the third one um, to hit him. Keep in mind, each X-Factor X particle does 300 damage, so however much extra damage you get from that, you can not use missiles or not use charge shots to accommodate that. Um, but again, the thing is that it's not necessarily consistent, and you can totally get screwed depending on how high Ridley decides to pogo because he has so many different um, heights that he can pogo at. So that's why I dropped the third X factor. Um, it was just too inconsistent for me personally, but you know maybe you can get it. There's also Static's strat that he showed off in the relay, um, and a lot of people will ask about that. My testing showed that to be slower, but I also I want to be completely upfront that I was bad at it. Um, I I couldn't get it to work the way that, that Static did. I spent like an hour or two hours on it trying to trying to recreate what he did, and I really struggled with it. Um, the times that I got it, it seemed slower. Um, not just in real time because of all the lag, but also in game time. Like I ended up with with less or equal health. Um, as I would with, with these strats that I've shown off. Um, so, it it might be viable for like a 15 super strat if you want to look into that, do like four or five or six X factors and, and 15 supers. But again, I think ultimately it's it's slower, both in game time and RTA, and, and I don't think it's worth it, personally. Even though it's like, super swag and one of the coolest freaking things I've ever seen so <laughs> no offense to, to you static because I think that that strat is freaking cool um yeah okay I think that's it uh hopefully this helps anybody who decides to watch it again if you have any questions please like reach out um I don't really read YouTube comments anymore because YouTube trolls but um DM me through Discord, uh, come into my chat when I'm streaming, if I'm in another person's chat, um, feel free to, like, you know, ask me there, and they get to, like, Twitch whispers or, or whatever, like, I, I love helping people with this, this game, I love talking tech, um, and honestly, I'm just, I'm so happy, um, <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm gonna get all cheesy here for a second. I'm so happy to be a part of this community, you guys. Like, um, Super Metroid has been my favorite game for 15 years, and I've been watching speedruns of this game for 15 years, and 
I just, uh, I honestly never expected to find myself in this situation where I was actually like, you know, recognized in the community. And so I just, I really appreciate you guys. Um, thank you so much for all the support and everything. And again, like if you have any questions or, you know, you just want to like, um, talk stuff out, you know, talk different strats, um, look at, you know, potential time saves here or there, like whatever. I, I love that stuff. So, so yeah, please reach out. Um, thank you so much for everything. And I will, uh, see you around in the community and hopefully on the leaderboards. Okay, bye.